All right, so listen, with the shifting market right now, the days of you just sticking a listing in the MLS, putting a sign out front, sitting back and letting it sell itself are over, all right? We have to be the expert. And today, I'm gonna walk you guys through a specific pricing strategy that I use, that I teach all my coaching clients so that you can position your listings in a way that they become the obvious choice and they actually get sold. So you can use this with new listings, or listings that you have right now that maybe aren't getting the showings you want them to or just getting no traffic, they're not selling. You can use this strategy to help the seller move the move it along and get it sold. So it's called price bracketing, all right? So I'm gonna walk you through exactly what this is, how to do it so you can implement it ex uh, immediately after this video. So let's jump into it. So. What is price bracketing? Number one, it's so it's real simple. Uh, the concept of it, it amazes me that agents don't know about price bracketing, or they're not using it in their pricing presentation or their strategy to help sellers get their properties sold. Okay, so when I use the script and I talk to a seller to say, "Hey, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, why don't you invite me over to the property one day this week? When I'm there, I'll walk you through a marketing." and pricing strategy that will cause buyers to give you more money than what your home is worth. This is one of the things that I'm talking about. All the analyticals in the videos are like, well, what do you mean? And I hear the scripts and well, how can you say that? This is one of the tactical things I'm talking about. So it's a pricing strategy that positions the seller's listing as the obvious choice, meaning we know that buyers make decisions based on what? comparison shopping. You don't know if something's valuable without comparing it to something else, right? Well, it's no different when buyers shop for homes in real estate. So they're, compar uh, they're comparing all the active listings and they're saying, well, which one makes the most sense? Price bracketing will position your client's home, your listing in a way where the buyers say, well, that's the obvious choice. Number two, it then positions you as the expert at the presentation because you actually have a, a, a strategy that you can demonstrate that will separate you from all of your competition, adding to your value proposition, which remember, the value equation is this. We're increasing the certainty that we're the right agent and we're decreasing their risk in hiring us to list and sell the home. This adds to that. So let's talk about how does it work. Number one, we first have to understand how do buyers search for homes? Now, you are all saying, well, yeah, Brandon, they search for homes online and you would be right. However, there's one concept I want you to understand so that we get clear on the buy side. This helps you on the strategy side of listing and selling homes. So I'm just going to pull up realtor.com for, uh, for a quick second so that I can show you what I mean, all right? Instead of telling you, I'm gonna show you. So I've got Tampa, Florida pulled up. Here's the thing. When a buyer gets pre-approved through a lender, the pre-approval comes in a whole number, right? Comes in a whole even number. They don't send an approval out for $437,126.77. They don't do that, do they? No, they don't. And as a result, every single search portal, MLS, Realtor.com, Zillow, Homes.com, it doesn't matter, they all are in line with how buyers are getting their approvals from their lenders. So if we look at Tampa, Florida, and we look at price, and we drop down the minimum, voila, it's all in even numbers, right? So as an example, I'll just put in 400000 to, let's just say 500000 as an example. Well, what we don't see here under price is, again, odd numbers, like 474000 to $526,777. We don't see that, do we? No, we don't. Now, right now, you're saying to yourself, yeah, Brandon, this is obvious. What, what is the point? How does this affect price bracketing? Well, I'm going to show you because uh, I'm going to show you the mistakes that you've probably been making that most agents make that is not helping the seller and it's not helping your case be the expert, win listings and get your listing sold. So let me point out a couple things. This property right here at 440, priced incorrectly. This property right here, priced at 400, priced correctly. This property right here at 499, priced incorrectly. I'm gonna show you why. These agents are harming the seller 
dramatically, okay? This is helping the seller. This is hurting the seller. This is hurting the seller. This is hurting the seller, hurting the seller. This is another terrible price, uh, hurting the seller, hurting. You see, this is why when you say, well, Brandon, what's the point? The point is, look at the listings on the screen right now. I, I mean, every one except for one is priced incorrectly. This right here, massive, massive, huge, gargantuan mistake. Huge, huge problem pricing this thing the way that they're priced. Priced incorrectly. Uh, this one's fine. Uh, this one's fine. This one, good. This one, good. So, you know, I would guesstimate that it's the 80-20 principle. 80% of these are wrong. 20% of these are right. Um, here's another one priced incorrectly, priced correctly, priced correctly, priced incorrectly. All right. I digress. Let me tell you why. All right. Let me jump back into the presentation. So step one, we know, yeah, Brandon, I got it. I'm a realtor, dude. I know how people shop for homes. Let's keep going. Yep. I'm with you. So step two, then if that's the case is understanding, look at that Bryce prac bracketing methodology. Let's fix that right now. See, like I'm keeping these uh, videos authentic now. So let me just update this with you guys here. Boom. Price bracketing. So there we go. That's what that is supposed to say. All right. So price bracketing methodology. So if the CMA stay with me here, okay. Cause I want to help you guys win more business and get your listings sold. If the CMA says that the value is coming in between 360 and 370, we're not going to list the home in that range. So you wouldn't list the home at 360, 365, 3649, 369.9. We're not gonna list the home at those prices at all. Why? Because if you were to do that, you're only gonna show up in the, the bracket. Whoop, let me, you're only gonna show up in the bracket between 350 and 375, or the bracket between 350 and 400. Not great for the seller versus this is where when you do this for the first time in front of a seller, their jaw is going to drop and say, where, where do I sign? Because you're demonstrating that you're a real expert. This is how you're going to double the exposure on every single one of your listings. So this example, all right, stick with me here. We're going to list the property at 350,000 even or 375,000 even if the value comes in between 360 and 370. Why? Now we're in the bracket of 300 to 350 and the bracket of 350 to 400. You just doubled the amount of buyer uh, exposure on your listing, which is your job to do. And you've done that by pricing this in the correct bracket. So the next question, logically, hopefully you guys are getting that. You didn't miss that. We have to say, okay, let me give you a couple more examples just to make sure we're on the same page. Let's pretend your CMA comes in at 440 to 450, all right? We're not going to price like the homes we saw on realtor.com as an example. We're not going to price it at 449. This is a massive, massive mistake. Why? We're going to list it at 450, okay? Because when we list at 450 even, you are gonna hit twice as many buyers because you're showing up in two price brackets when they're searching for homes online, like I showed you. If you price this thing, so you're gonna show up in the bracket of 400 to, four, or to 500, four to 450, and 450 to 500. If you price the property at 449, 900, like you saw a bunch of those agents doing, they don't even show up in this bracket between 450 and 500. This is crushing your listings. And I'm going to prove it to you right now because step three is doing the price bracketing research. So you know where all the active buyers are right now. And now you can not just say it, you can show it to the seller. Check this out. So let me, what we're going to do is we're going to research each price bracket inside the MLS that will help us to determine where the most buyer activities, uh, buyer activity is. We call this the active buyer analysis. So when you're positioning yourself at an appointment or setting an appointment, 
you could talk to the seller and say, hey, one of the things I'll do when I'm there is I'll show you an active buyer analysis so you can see where all the active buyers are so that when we price the property, we can position your home as the obvious choice. You guys with me? So let's get into this. So we can, and I just said this, so we can show the seller the analysis. All right, so let me show you how to do this. I'm gonna pop out of here. I'm gonna log into showing time, all right? Now, every time I log into one of my systems, many of you comment like, dude, I don't have that system in my market. Well, make sure you don't because, you know, just call your MLS, call your board and say, yo, do we have this? Because I bet you when you guys are calling, you just might, might, not, might not be able to find it. I bet you have this access, okay? Most of you already do. So I'm logged into showing time through the MLS. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the bottom report that says target market analysis. This is going to blow your mind. All right, so check this out. So under city, let's just put in... Um, one of my cities that I work. I'll just put in Rochester Hills. And I'm gonna put in, um, we'll just use the same price ranges as we've been talking about in today's video. So we'll just say four to 500,000. And then I'm gonna hit submit. Actually, I'm gonna go back. Let's go back um, 90 days. And the increment, see this increment right here? This allows you to break this down by any increment. I'm just going to, I'm going to choose 25,000 as an example. Now, let's see if I can even go down even more. If it lets me go down to 10, that'd be even better. Okay, it does. All right, so check this out. Look at the screen right now. This is showing the amount of showings per price bracket. In other words, this report right here, you guys, and I mean men and women, this shows you all of the buyer activity literally by price bracket in your MLS, in the city, where the listing is. You can even do this by neighborhood, by the way. And it's showing where all the active buyers are. So let me show you what this report is saying. So the graph, graphically speaking, we can see, okay, obviously between 490 and 499, this is the heaviest pool of buyers between 400 and 500 in this city at the, at the moment. And, be, and beneath this, it shows you, hey, here's the to total number of showings by price bracket, their percentages, the monthly average, the weekly average, the showings per listing. Imagine a world you can show the seller this now and how this positions you to win the listing. So now you can get into a listing appointment and say, okay, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, listen, I know that you want to, you want, you want over 500, right? The value analysis suggests that the home should sell for around 500, and I am in agreement with you. My recommendation is that, you know, I know you want to list it over 500, which we can absolutely do. I just would like to show you the active buyer analysis first, and then you decide what you want to do. So as an example, we would show them this report, and we'd say, listen, you can see in here the vast majority of the buyers are between 490 and 500. Now, if we price this listing, if we price it over 500, 505, 515, 5159, 5099, anything like that, you are going to miss out on the vast majority of the buyers that are most likely going to buy the home. Now, here's what's going to happen. This is just an example. If we price the house directly at 500,000, Mr. and Mrs. Seller, here's what's going to happen. Your home will be positioned in this bracket of 490 to 500,000 as the best home available to the vast majority of the buyers. Check that on the list. The next thing it does is in the next bracket up, all right, if I just put this up to 500 to, let's just say 550 as an example, now, in the next bracket up between 500 and 550, your home now becomes the best value versus if you go over 500 because the analysis says the house is worth right around 500 and you miss the buyers that are searching for homes between 450 and 500, you don't get to be the best home. You have to go compete with homes that are arguably better than yours in the bracket 500 to 550. And then you can start to look at 
all the buyer activity. Look at this. Between 500 and 550, it's a no-brainer that we have to position this home at 500 because look at this bracket. Five, 490 to 499. Look at how many more showings. There's 313 showings versus the next bracket up. There's only 84. And then at 510 to 519, it's even worse, 65. Now you guys can see the power of price bracketing and how we position, more importantly, how we communicate the positioning of our strategy that makes us the agent they want to work with. Because let me ask you a question. How many of you are doing this on your listing presentations? Honestly, put it in the comments. And if you're not doing it, and now you are able to do this, I believe this sets you up in a much better position to win more business because most agents just aren't going this deep. Most agents aren't the experts and most agents can't demonstrate that by listing your home with me means you get more money in your pocket, net bottom line, than working with any other agent. And until you can say that with confidence, you won't ever reach your fullest potential. So let me know what questions you guys have on this strategy. It is my hope that you found great value. If you did, consider subscribing. If you stop getting value from the channel, just unsubscribe. You don't have to watch it anymore. If there's anything I can do for you guys, uh, I put links to everything right underneath this video. Be happy to jump on a call, talk about potentially working together in the future. If not, I'll see you guys in another video tomorrow. Appreciate your time and your support here on the channel.